welcome to the 10 acre woods today we're going to talk about some feathers so one thing i haven't gone over is feathers this one here is actually uh, uh, i believe this is the turkey feather from tom last year the wild turkey that we had uh, and you can see all the different types of feathers that we've uh, collected and stuck in here for educational purposes uh, this is fernando's tail feathers here uh, then we have some, some polka dotted guinea feathers here in the back. Uh, and then chicken feathers, some small chicken feathers. Uh, the fluffy ones are actually um, more, more insulation. Can't see too much from this one here, but uh, this one, for example, you can see the top section being the feather portion and then the bottom one being the, uh, the insulation. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about here today is how these feathers work and what are they made of. Uh, a lot of people think that the, uh, the stem of the feather is bone. Uh, it's actually not. It's actually beta carotene, uh, which is high in protein. And that's why when chickens and, and birds go into molting, they don't lay eggs during those periods. Uh, because they put all their protein energy <clears throat> into manufacturing these feathers. Now, beta carotene is also the same thing that claws and beaks are made out of. And uh, so, so in these feathers, what's very interesting is how they're made up. So they're made up of uh, barbs that come off of the main stem, and then little barbel, barbels, barbules <laughs> that come off of that. Now, you can think of it as Velcro. So when, I, uh, when a, uh, a feather is damaged and gets pulled apart like this, what the, uh, and you often see this uh, with ducks. You'll see this with ducks quite a bit, usually when they come out of the, uh, the water. But it's damaged, it's broken. So all they do is they preen themselves. And when they preen themselves, they just kind of rub it together. And it is now repaired magically. This one's actually damaged down here. But uh, um, <clears throat> so what it is, is one side is made up of little hooks. Sorry, I lost my voice there for a second. Uh, little hooks and then there's little rods on the other side. So what happens is when they preen them, they actually stick them back together just like Velcro. Uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty fascinating. I did take a picture. I tried to get... Uh, a, a good picture close-up of with my macro lens. Uh, you can kind of see the, uh, the the shading of the, it's, it's darker on one side, it's black, and then it's kind of way, uh, white or grayish on the other side. Uh, so that's how they work. Now, uh, of course, with uh, peafowl, it's a little bit different, of course, because peafowl aren't... Um, they're more about the show than they are about the uh, the flight. Uh, although peafowl can fly similar to turkeys, they they're not going to get up and fly across the sky, but they'll be able to uh, jump fly. I guess that's how you would call it. Uh, they'd run and then they'd flap their wings and and get up into a tree. Uh, so they have their nice pretty feathers at the top, and at the base they have their fluffy ones. Now the way these fluffy ones work they still have the uh, the barbs and barbules that are on it but instead of having hooks and rods they actually have um, it's just these little balls so they don't stick to each other and they just remain all fluffy and that's their insulation uh, I think that's it for there so uh, one thing that I wanted to mention was uh, I've been trying to capture this for quite some time over the past month or so uh, when we go out to do feeding Lambert has this this um, uh, he, he jumps up and down basically and I think I did catch it once a little bit in one of them but I wanted to try to catch it so I'm gonna go out there we're gonna see if we can get Lambert to do any kind of uh, jumping it's not quite uh, feeding time now uh, generally it happens right around feeding time uh, and it's the cutest thing and the people that come out and visit uh, said oh you need to catch that on camera so Let's go out there and see if uh, see what I can do, see what I can get. <laughs> hey guys! Hi! What are you guys doing? You guys are, oh. Is it morning time? It's not morning. 
By the way, crooster, roosters, roosters don't crow uh, just in the morning. <coughs> they crow whenever. Hey guys, so I'll go outside here. Usually what Tara does is she comes out here and she walks out. Oh, there's some of the rabbits. She walks out here and nobody's following me. <laughs> Come on guys. Come on kids. Come on. There's Lambert. There's Lambert. She walks over towards the ducks. She's in here. Are you guys going to do anything? No. All right. Well, maybe I'll try later on. Are you going to do anything, buddy? You gonna jump and play? <laughs> no. All right. Well, we'll carry on with our regular scheduled broadcast. Nice goatee you got going on there, bud. <laughs> okay. False alarm. Sorry, Barry. Go back to go back to sleep. Now, no problems here. We'll go back to bed. Okay, so here we are inside, and just a little check on there's Lucy and Joey and Isabella. They came in last week, last weekend, and they're doing fabulous. Uh, these guys came in with some diarrhea uh, because of all the milk they had. They were getting too much milk, not enough fiber, so now they're getting the fiber they need, and they're off the bottle. Yes, oh, but you want to still suck on my finger, don't you? Uh, and they're um, they're becoming more regular, so that's good, right, guys? Oh, Fernando. Yep, you're always creating. Okay, so today we want to talk about chickens and feathers. Now you can see this hen here. Uh, she is out here. She was molting, and I took a, a close-up picture, and from that picture. You can see the feathers that are coming in. Uh, now at the top there, there's uh, a section where a feather is just kind of coming out of the tube. And further down, you can see other ones that are just pushing out the old feather stem uh, and growing out. Now the way they work is uh, chickens go through chickens and, and, uh, and ducks. They go through a molt and they'll lose their feathers. Uh, then they'll grow them back again. So at that time when chickens are losing their feathers, uh, the new ones will be pushing those out and they will not be laying. So chickens don't lay every day of the year. Uh, depending on the breed, you can look at uh, you know, 200, 300 eggs a year uh, and they stop during the molting season. And the reason why that is is because the feather stem is made up of beta carotene, which is uh, high in protein. So they need that protein. Okay, guys, Jeez, they're crowing. They need that protein to go into the feather production uh, instead of into the egg production. So that's how that works. Hi, Lambert. Hi, <laughs> no, no jumping up. <laughs> Hey, 
down, birds. Uh, sheeps have hard I heads. <laughs> coming to pick on me. Sheep's heads hard, harder. <laughs> <laughs> and the push of war is on. Here comes Lambert to save you. <laughs> no. Hey. Okay. No. Stop. No. Sit. <laughs> no. Carl. Oh my turbo. Go in. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I love you. I love you. Now stop it. You little fucker. He says, I just want to play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys have fun. I'm going oh, Shut up. <laughs> Get out of the way. What? Carl. Hey. <laughs> nope. Carl. <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Uh, I, of course, did a little bit of research to uh, ensure that my content was accurate. Uh, if you have any comments about it, please leave it below. And uh, being the week before Christmas, I guess I'll, uh, I'll wish all of you a, uh, a Merry Christmas Eve. I'm not sure when the, the next video may be coming out, actually Christmas morning, possibly. Uh, usually I've been putting them out on Monday mornings just because I've got a lot going on, on the weekends and uh, it's about the only time I can get them out is Sunday night. Uh, but we'll see what I can do and see what I can come up with next week. And until then take care and have a wonderful week.